Early on, there were enterprising people that hoped to make a boat fly with only human power. To reduce the lift and power, a submerged buoyant shape was mounted below the hull. With only a few pounds of lift required, the rider needed to generate only a little power. Flight could be maintained indefinitely. However, it was soon discovered that with the low power and slow speeds, the hydrofoil stabilizers on the sides of the torpedo would have insufficient authority to control powerful roll forces. The hull could not be balanced on the submerged torpedo regardless of the pilot's skill. What is needed is more power, speed, and faster controls. Roll forces need to be under the control of a fast reacting autopilot and there must be enough dynamic force to overcome inherent instability. It is this engineering challenge that has resulted in the high-speed motor-powered craft you will see in the following video. Hi, Swaz. Hydrofoil small water plane area ship. A hull form using a single submerged hull and foil system to provide a high-speed rough water capability for tomorrow's small craft and large ships. Under a small business innovation research contract with the U.S. Navy, Maritime Applied Physics Corporation in Laurel, Maryland, designed and built a 12-ton, 35-knot HISWAS. The HISWAS demonstrator, named Quest, was rolled out of the Maritime Applied Physics Corporation facility in July of 1995, after an 18-month construction period. It was subsequently transported to and launched at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Carterock Division facility located on the Severn River in Annapolis, Maryland. Hybrid surface ship lift systems have been under study at NSWC since the mid-1970s. The technology has matured through analytical studies, feasibility designs, computer simulations, model tests, and more recently, this manned 27-foot demonstration vehicle. The objective of the project was to build an affordable craft that would demonstrate the performance characteristics of the high swaz hull form. The 12-ton, 27-foot vehicle had three major goals. One, to demonstrate the high swaz hull form technology. Two, to be a potential candidate for naval unmanned missions and three, to serve as a catalyst for potential military and commercial ship developments. A number of studies have been performed using this hull form to satisfy potential applications in sizes ranging from 160 tons to over 2,000 tons. HISWAS operates at two different water lines. When at rest, or when moving at slow speeds, the vessel rides on its upper hull and looks very similar to a conventional craft. As the vehicle's speed increases, the automatic control computer commands the submerged foils to an angle where they generate lift which makes the craft rise to a waterline on the slender strut. Advantages of the Heiswaz hull form include reduced roll, pitch, and heave motions in rough water, improved hydrodynamic efficiency at foil-borne speeds greater than about 15 to 20 knots, and very little speed degradation in waves relative to conventional craft. Also, flow conditions around the lower body of the vehicle provide a potential for improved propulsive efficiency compared to conventional monohull or conventional hydrofoil propeller arrangements. In addition, the single slender strut at the water surface produces a relatively small wake. The vehicle's high fuel capacity, combined with improved hydrodynamic and propulsive efficiencies, provide the potential for long range and high endurance at high speeds in rough water. In early November, Quest transited from Annapolis to Patuxent River, Maryland, where it underwent rough water trials in the Chesapeake Bay. With a Cummins high-performance 825-horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, she maneuvered easily and effortlessly through high waves, skimming along with its upper hull elevated above the waves. When foil-borne, Quest cruised at all headings in waves up to seven feet without slamming or excessive motions. The high swaz hull form concept 
has proven to be technically feasible, and work is continuing to explore this promising concept.